there's really cool succulents, there's really cool cacti, there are some tropical plants that will excite and delight. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Patrick and I love plants. In today's video, we are in LA. I have been having so much fun living my best tourist life. I just got out of Coachella and we went to Palm Springs and had fun being little tourists there. And now we're in LA. If you happen to be visiting LA, this is the one nursery that I suggest you visit because there's a little bit of everything for everyone. I'm not just saying that. There's like really cool plants in there that will scream for you to take home. There's really cool succulents. There's really cool cacti. There are some tropical plants that will excite and delight. Let's go inside and check out all of the things that Mickey's Plants has to offer. Oh, I wish you guys could smell the entrance. It is so delicious. Right by the entrance are all the caladiums and it's exciting. Caladium season is upon us. Loving the bright colors and the beautiful ethereal leaves of the caladium. They are $15 each for the six inch pots, which is really nice. And all I can think about is how good these pink jasmine smell. So good. And then right next to the caladiums are the alocasias. They have some alocasia tiny dancer. These are $18 in the four inch pot. There's some alocasia pink dragons for $12. And I do love these, the alocasia ivory coast. I love the shape of the leaves on this. These are 12 also, and the Alocasia Cupria, very easy Alocasia, is $18. So beautiful. Love the color on that. Then there's the Alocasia Maharani. These are $18. I've always had trouble with Alocasia Maharani's, no matter what I did with it. I've even put it in my grow tent and still wasn't happy, so I'm kind of hesitant but I'm willing to try another time. I do love the look of the Alocasia Mellow. Very similar to the Maharani, but it's just a little more texture. But these are also $18. Perhaps the Mellow will like me more than the Maharani. There's some Alocasia Regal Shields. These love it outside. So ever since I moved mine outdoors, it's been loving life so much more. There's also the Alocasia Yucatan Princess. These are $12 each. I have a feeling these get really big. Oh, here's one Alocasia that I seem to have no problem with. Although, I do keep it in my Mars Hydro grow tent, but it is putting out leaf after leaf, and it is looking nice and full. My Alocasia Cupria is the only Alocasia that has not suffered throughout the winter and is still looking really, really good. I have it in my Mars Hydro Grow tent and it's loving the consistent lighting and the humidity that the grow tent provides. Yeah, I recommend the Cupria, it's really cute. These are $35 here. And my little baby Alocasia Jacqueline is also doing pretty well from Rosales. I also have it in the same Mars Hydro Grow tent and again, just keeps putting out new leaf after leaf, so it's gonna be time to repot that in the near future. These six inch pots are $45. I have yet to see a six inch pot, so this is my first time seeing one out shopping, and these are so beautiful. I love the leaves on this. And they have some Alocasia Zabrinas. One of my favorite, just classic alocasias. So beautiful and such a good deal for an eight inch pot. These are $35. This one's nice and full too. They have little four inch alocasia zebrinas for 12. And then the alocasia sarian is also the same. So they have the eight inch pot for 35. They have six inch alocasia sarian for 22 and some 
four inch alocasia cerians for 12. And then right, also right by the entrance, they're very efficient with their space. So they pack all the plants in here. Let's go over the really cool cacti and succulents. Ooh, look at this. They also have the Eulichnia castanea spiralis, also known as the unicorn cactus. Totally right. These are $65 each. And there is a Euphorbia white ghost. And that is $18. I see a Euphorbia abdelkeri back there. That looks really cool. Let's see how much that is. This one's $75. It's a very cool looking plant though. I do love the variegated kind. And those are like a nice, beautiful pink color. And the look, they have a grafted Areocarpus. This one is $65 too. I am loving these booby cactus. They even have like a really big one. That one's 75, I want to say, or 65. Still pretty good. And this one's 39. Also very good. Today might be the day that I pick one of these up. I just visited the Morton Botanical Garden and that's the last video that I put out. So if you haven't seen that, you got to check that out. It was absolutely beautiful and has ignited even more of a passion for desert plants because I learned so much that last trip. Oh my gosh, a shout out to all the Vegas peeps. So um, a very nice person just walked up to me and said that they were coming out here and were asking on the Facebook group what nurseries they should visit while they were out here. and. She told me that a lot of people sent her like my videos to watch so what an honor and that is so sweet it was so nice to meet you and thank you vegas i need to come out there and show you guys love so i'm excited to go check out some vegas nurseries Ooh, speaking of the morton botanical garden they had lots of stapelias and they have some here too these are four inch stapelias for four was it four no six dollars and some bunny ear cactus, these are puntias. Now we know the pests that these attract are not mealies, although they look like it. However, you can totally, totally farm those cochineal scale and have your own like red dye empire. Fascinating, right? Well, these are $6 and yeah, I'm not gonna touch those. And the beautiful Ripsalis Paradoxa. This one's 15 for the four inch pot. I think that's a good deal. Ooh, look at this beautiful spiral cactus. It's like perfect looking. And this one's 75 as well. And so is that beautiful variegated cactus back there, $75 as well. So the larger, more rare cactus are $75. They have some hanging lapismium. These are beautiful. These are $15 for the six inch. I do love the, the uh, golden rat tail too. Slightly juicier. This one's 20 for the six inch. They have some really cute Siphostema jetes. These are $95, just putting out some new growth right there. And they also have a lovely selection of orchid cactus. They have um, epiphyllums. These are $20. They have the Selenocerius chrysocardium, the fernleaf cactus. This one's $25. And they also have the rickrack cactus. Has anyone had any success getting a rickrack cactus to flower? I'd like to know. They also have uh, the Sonoran rock fig, the ficus petiolaris, which is one of my favorite ficuses. But I'd have to say my favorite ficus, hands down, is the ficus religiosa. 
Look at this beautiful baby. $12, not bad. I just like having it around the house. I feel like it raises the vibrational vibrations of the house. It feels good. It just feels good to have. So maybe adding another one will make it feel even better. I want to know how they keep their string of turtles looking so good because these are outside I've only had luck keeping it happy inside my Mars Hydro grow tent I want to know how they keep theirs happy I love how nice and plump these leaves are oh they also have some really beautiful spring cactus and if you want to know how to tell the difference between the spring cactus and the Thanksgiving cactus. See, the Thanksgiving cactus has those little points on the edge, and the spring cactus is a lot more smooth and scalloped. Not only that, but the spring cactus will bloom right around Easter, like now, and these bloom around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Ooh, right behind the cacti are some really cool anthuriums. They have anthurium pterodactyl. This is a really cool looking anthurium. These are $29 for the four inch pots. And there's tons of new leaves. And they also have some baby monsteras. These are $6 each for the four inch pots. also have some larger succulents to choose from like these Aeonium Sunbursts. This one's 10 and some nice blooming Echeveria. It's also 10. Wow, how cool are these? Ooh, look at that. It's putting out some new leaves. Some really cool. These are Pachypodium Gayi. <laughs> Ooh. Now we're in the fern section, and I'm actually in the market for some ferns. I only had one casualty over the weekend. I thought I did well by leaving my rosy maidenhair fern, you know, one of my favorite houseplants, in a nice dish with water so it could drink as it wanted to, but you know what? That thing was so thirsty that it finished all the water and it was shriveled up when I came home and it's only been about six days. So finally the rosy maiden hair fern has succumbed. But these four inch pots are five dollars so it takes up a little less space. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to pick one of these up too. Ooh, awesome, they have cardboard palm. That's really cool. The cardboard palm is one of my favorite cycads. I feel like cycads are just really cool. Very prehistoric looking and yeah. Ooh, and this big one is 195. Nice. They also have some really beautiful giant bird of paradise so if you have a big space that you really want to tropify <laughs> these are really beautiful and these are 150 for the larger plants and see this is how big they grow into and look at how beautiful the flower is so this is the white bird of paradise isn't that gorgeous they also have smaller ones. I often see fake ones sold of these, so you don't have to buy a fake one. You can buy a nice real one, and this one's $30. And then right by the Hoyas is this little section of philodendrons. 
They have some philodendron super atom for $12. They have the, is this the Macaulay's finale? I think it is. This is uh, $18. Then they have the Prince of Orange. So that's how I was able to tell. <laughs> the Prince of Orange is also $18. The philodendron Pistatum, or the silver stored is $12. And the four inch philodendron squamiferum is $15. Four inch Raphidophora decursivas are 12. Okay, it's Hoya time. There's $15 for these Hoya pubicalyx. Ooh, super exciting. They have the Ho uh, Hoya croniana super silver for 22. I got mine from here and I came home to some beautiful blooms. I opened up my grow tent and smelled something really pleasant and I was like, what, what, what? And yeah, lo and behold, my Hoya croniana was dry because I forgot to water it, but <laughs> it was flowering it has like so many blooms right now and the grow tent smells so good because of it Ooh, they have Hoya Chelsea for $29 this Hoya is pretty hard to find in California not a lot of stores sell Hoya Chelsea and these are so cute and I still have yet to add a Hoya Chelsea to my collection Ooh, they have beautiful splashy Hoya Obovada the Obovada splash for 29 that's another one that's not really readily available like everywhere I only have a four inch one that I just recently propagated Ooh, they have um, hanging six inch Hoya curtisi eyes these are $18 they have one lone Hoya retusa for 15 it doesn't look like much, but this Hoya does intrigue me. I love the way that it blooms. It looks really cool. And the four inch Hoya Croniana Super Silvers are 12. And oh, still, all I can smell are those pink jasmines. They also have the classic Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen for 15. And the Crimson Princess is also 15. These moss baskets of platycerium bifurcatum are 45 that's really good actually of course they have an awesome beautiful selection of house plants but before we go through all these there's this one area in the front that i've never been to so i want to check that out before we check this one out gosh I've come here so many times and I didn't even know this place this portion existed ooh the Lophocereus scotii monstros I love these totem pole cactus and these are 150 aren't they so cool here's a really large one for 395 Oh my gosh, look at these giant Euphorbia Amac Variegatas. Amazing. I don't know how much those large ones are. I can only imagine it's a lot of money. But these are 85 and they're cute. They have some really beautiful Apuntias for $45. They even have some some of these really cool plants. This is the Deuteraconia brevifolia. It has like a nice mounding growth pattern that is really, really cool. These smaller ones are $35, and the larger ones are $2.95. But they are just so beautiful, aren't they? 
Whoa, check out all these variegated apuntias. This area is really beautiful. So you have to go through like the front of the house and then exit the front of the house. <laughs> and you will reach this little oasis. I highly recommend it. It's really, really cool out here. Oh, they even have my dream tree, the Serpentine Weeping Blue Atlas Cedar. These are so cool. These are pretty big, so the larger, larger one is $4.95, and the slightly smaller one is $3.95. Oh, and I see a little baby. Hi. Oh, this cat is so sweet. So every time I leave my house for just like a few days, Ziggy, when I come home, he is always so salty and just so dismissive. Like he does not even, he won't even let me pet him. Like when I go for his head, he like, backs away really fast so it's nice to get some loving I'm hoping today that Ziggy turns around and finally shows me some love but I swear every time every time he gets so mad when I leave she's a beautiful cat Beautiful torty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wash my hands really good or else Ziggy will probably spend another day being mad at me. some philodendron white wizard these are 39 in the four inch pots they have epipernum pinatum cebu blue or the cebu blue pothos and these are $12 for the four inch pots Diffenbachia reflector that one's 25 ooh xanthosoma lindenii how much are these four inch? These are $12. Ooh, this is one that I never ever see. Actually, I've never seen one out. Ooh, actually, no. I have at Equigenera. So these are pretty hard to find. They have Circestus Mirabilis. These are $60 each. And some Philodendron Pick Princesses. These are. 39 for the 4 inch and 69 for the 6 inch. Wow. That is a Philodendron Brantianum. It's huge. I thought it was like a Soderoy or something, but that big Philodendron Brantianum is 150. Oh cool, they have some Stefanias too. Stefania Subarosa for 195. They're putting out some leaves. Ooh, these are looking so good. The Tenanthi Burl Marks. And this one's in like a large eight inch pot for $65. Nice. The six inch one's only 13. They're just putting out some Milano Chrysums. Looks like they're $29. That's a pretty good deal. I love this Maranta Lucanura. Nice and full. 
feel like they always have such a good selection of prayer plants here. Like these Calathea rotundifolias. I love the contrast on these leaves. The larger 8 inch Calathea rotundifolia is 35 and the 6 inch ones are 15. There's some beautiful Stromanthi Trio stars for $15 in 6 inch pots. And the full Calathea Makoyana in 6 inch pots. They're all pretty full. They're $15. They have the Calathea Orbifolia too. See, it's very similar to the Rotundifolia. It's just kind of like a reverse. And it doesn't have the purple abaxial side. These are $15 for the 6 inch, again, and again, $35 for the larger 8 inch. And the Calathea Warzawixii. I say it's the easiest Calathea and I will die alone on that hill because I love mine. <laughs> it's super easy. And again, $15. But if anyone else has had a good experience with the Calathea Warzawixii, let me know or am I just the only one? because all my other ones have long gone, but my Warzawixii is a trooper. It looks very similar to the Zabrina, which is this one, but I say it's still easier than the, the Zabrina. The darker leaves are a lot more forgiving and they don't require as much light as the Zabrina. Highly recommend. Wow. They have some really beautiful giant beauty stars. That is $35 also. And again, $15 for the 6 inch. I love consistent pricing. It makes it really easy. The Calathea Vitata. $15. They also have the Royal Standard and the Rufa Barba and the Lancifolia. All the Calatheas are priced the same. Ooh, look at the new leaf emerging. This is the Anthurium Big Red Bird. $25 for the 6 inch pot. Oh, and it has a beautiful inflorescence too. Nice. They have all kinds of Dracaenas to choose from. And then right above them are the Pothos. They have the Pothos Enjoy. And this is. I think the 6 inch Pothos Enjoys are 15. They also have the, the Marble Queen Pothos for 15 and the Golden Pothos again. Oh no. The Jade Pothos. The Jade Pothos. This doesn't have any variegation. And this one's 18. They have some cute Neon Robusta Zingoniums for 12. Love these just solid green Syngonium Podophyllums. That one's 15. And one genus that I'm really loving right now is Spathophyllum. I love how easy they are. They're just so beautiful too. And this larger Spathophyllum sensation, looks like there's three big plants in there, is $65. Ooh, the Platinum Mist. This big, beautiful, Spathophyllum platinumist is $25, and the 6 inch platinumists are, let's see, 
Nice. They also have some Peace Lily Dominoes for 29 That's the 8-inch pot. And then the 6-inch pots are $12. The prices here are so good and so reasonable. It's really surprising considering it's like in the middle of Hollywood. But check out this Anthurium. I don't even know what this one is. Is this the Draco Nupturum? That's what it kind of reminds me of. But this really gigantic, humongous pot is $150. Look at how nice and big established this plant is. It's super old. And they have some larger silver swords for $150. Ooh, and it is putting out an inflorescence. That's my dream. My dream is for my silver sword to put out an inflorescence. Super cool looking. I've only seen it once. They have beautiful ZZs. It's nice and big. That one's $150. And the larger money trees are $65. They even have philodendron painted ladies. Those are, I think they're $45 in the six inch pots. And $29 for those begonia maculatas. Love the begonia maculata. Oh man, Mickey's is always a good time. When I was checking out, they even had some other stuff that I missed by the cash register. They had some Monstera Thai constellations, some Monstera albos, as well as some other like anthurium type plants. I did get the booby cactus. That's what everyone voted for. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. If you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my plant videos, come plant shopping with me. Hit that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye. Ocean in between us, still I feel your heart mm -hmm. There's something about you, baby, that makes me feel complete. I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before. No, keep coming back for your time at the time. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind. No, baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah, that baby, I got you. No matter the hoops, yeah, yeah. Baby, I got you.